In this video, we're just going to use a really cheap boroscope, also known as an endoscope, to peek inside the combustion chamber on a gasoline engine. So the reason we use like a boroscope or endoscope to peek inside the combustion chamber is that we don't have to remove the whole intake and head just to have a look. We can use a little camera, almost like keyhole surgery, to peek inside and have a look at what's going on. Now this uh, boroscope or endoscope, uh, the difference being endoscope is for health applications but they tend to use the terms interchangeably. This is $20, I'll link all the parts in the description below so you can try it out yourself. It works with Android phones but you can get ones that work with Apple as well. Uh, this one again $20, um, if you spend around 50, 60, 70 you really get the same quality camera but it has a screen built in. So this works with a laptop or a phone, so we're kind of levering, uh, leveraging our screen we already have, so that's why it's a lot cheaper. When you start spending over $100, $200, that's when you get a, a better image quality. And the reason we might want to check inside a combustion chamber using our boroscope is to check the condition. We may suspect um, carbon deposits, which can be cleaned using seafoam or just a really nice long freeway drive to try and blow some of that out. You can also confirm your seafoam product might work. You can also check that your piston rings are sealing correctly or there's no carbon around the piston rings. So carbon is pretty bad for engines and engines that take short frequent trips aren't good for engines at all. That's why it's recommended you go on the freeway, uh, you know, just as much as doing frequent trips. So any carbon that has the chance to build up is flushed out of the combustion chamber immediately. So let's get on with the video and let's have a peek inside the combustion chamber. So I'm using an old laptop here. It has OBS installed. It's quite hard to see, but there we go. It's used for Twitch streaming and things like that, but you can plug a webcam into there and actually record it. So you're not only looking at it live, but you can also make a video. So I'll link that in the description below so you can download that and get it installed. Again, if you have a boroscope that has a screen built in, it may have recording capabilities as well, but you may be spending the extra money and not being able to record, so this is why I prefer the method of using a laptop or a phone to also record your videos. So this is a Saturn view, it's a six cylinder engine, six cylinders, six coils, six spark plugs. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove one of the coils, one of these nice easy ones to get to. So this is cylinder number five on here. We're just going to remove the uh, Allen key out here, disconnect the coil, pull the coil out, pull the spark plug out, and then we're going to slide our camera into the spark plug well. Before dealing with anything such as electronics, it's good practice to remove the negative terminal off the battery. With this boroscope we have a light control, so if we turn this dial here, the light increases and decreases. I recommend running it on the maximum light setting so we can see the most things. Uh, one trick with this, the line is very flexible, so when you're putting it in the spark plug well, it starts bending around. And if this touches the rim, then you'll just get a bit of oil on there, then your image will be blurry. So what I have, I'll have a little uh, hose here. It could be a fuel hose, uh, anything from a camelback or anything like that. I'm just going to push the camera into the hose. So we go in hose first, or the oil gets on the um, hose itself. And then when it's inside, we can pull the hose back and we'll have our nice clean camera inside the combustion chamber ready to record video. So that's a little trick. So remove the coil, remove the plug. Uh, when you remove the spark plugs, it's good to check the gap on these and also the condition. Um, again, they represent a nice window to the combustion chamber. If your plug's oily, it might give you an indication. You may not need to invest in a boroscope and check out the condition, but... Again, it's something to note to check the condition of the plugs. If you're unsure about what con uh, plug condition means, I'll just insert an image now so you can see that. So I've just started recording, so we're going to look at our videos inside or whatever, whatever we want to do with them. I've pulled the camera inside the hose by about, you know, a centimeter, you know, a quarter of an inch, something like that. So your image will look like that. And a nice circle around and then we're just going to insert it down the spark plug well into the combustion chamber and you can see that see that going now look so when we get to the rim here we'll just twist it around eventually it'll find its center and we can push it down on in there so we've found the hole we're just going to pull the sleeve back and let the camera go in there I'll clip to the other video now
So as you could see from that video, it gave us a good indication of the quality of the combustion chamber for that cylinder. So if you have a misfire that's pointing to say cylinder number 5 or cylinder number 1, you suspect the worst, maybe there's coolant in there. Again, a $20 boroscope is really good and it will give you a quick indication of this. So it's a pretty good tool just for diagnostic purposes or just if you're curious. Maybe you bought some sea foam, you want to know if it actually cleared any carbon out of there. Maybe you want to check if you have a lot of carbon in there. Maybe you want to see if your piston rings are sealing correctly because there's too much carbon around the edge. So it's a really good tool for that. So I hope you found this video useful. Again, all products and everything in the description below. Thanks for watching.